guess we're up high enough. Yeah, dude, it's six. Yep. Yeah, whale tail. <laughs> zoom in on that. Here with the new uh, XO K4 frame with the 5,000 cubic inch bag. Uh, this is the brand new frame and bag for 2023. Um, you guys over at XO, I think they made a lot of great improvements. Uh, the K3 is a fantastic system, and this just takes it up another notch. Um, was lucky enough to shoot a shoot a great bull on opening day in uh, Utah, and I'm going to show you how to use the meat shelf on the K4. We have a front shoulder, neck meat, rib meat, back strap. We're going to load that meat on the meat shelf, and we're going to strap the head in to haul it down where our horses are going to be. So first off, I'm going to take the lid off, and this one of the big changes they made. Um, it buckles on the front the same, but on the back, there's no buckles. There's just these, uh, I don't know what you call them, but take those off and you set the bag aside, or the lid aside. And then you'll, this is one of the big changes they made was on how the, the frame set up is quite a bit different and how the bag hooks up is quite a bit different. On the K3 you had the tri-fold um, Velcro that went over the frame right here and you can see that's been eliminated. There's two vertical stays now instead of the single bar and there's two Velcro pieces, one on each side that hold the bag to the frame. So it's just this piece of Velcro right here. I'm going to fish that through that little metal stay and then pop it off the frame. And you can see it just hooks in, it's maybe a half inch connection, it's super strong and it hooks over the top of the stay on the frame. Do the same thing on the other side. Pop that off. And I'm going to do my four buckles similar to the K3. And that's it. It's that simple. You know, EXO is known for having simple, easy to use design. And you can see how quick and easy that was to pull the bag off the frame. Next I'm going to lay the bag flat and just like on the K3 system they have straps specific for the meat shelf. Those are the same. We already packed out one load so these were unwound. I'm going to spread those out. I'm going to lay the pack as basically as flat as I can get it. And then I'm going to put the meat in it. And you notice I'm not going to put the meat the whole way down to the bottom. That, you know, the way these bags are designed, you want it real tight at the bottom, and that's going to keep that meat up higher. The higher up, middle of the shoulder blades, that meat sitting, the easier it's going to be to pack out. So I'm going to keep it a handful of inches off the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and get these meat straps on. And I like to wrap them around the bottom if I can. That keeps that meat from falling down. Cinch those as tight as I can, good and stable. Those are super handy. That way you don't have to use the compression on your bag to hold the meat, crush all your gear, and it keeps that meat in place much better. Once I get that strap down, simply flip the bag up over, and then I have the four bag straps.
cinch those down. I don't have to wrench on them. I do want them snug, but because the meat has those meat straps, I don't have to wrench those down, but snug is good. Once I get that on, I'm gonna put the lid back on. I'm gonna run my straps back through these little keepers here. And back through the lid buckle. And then buckle that lid back down. Once I buckle the lid back on, that's it. It's ready to go. Everything's super secure. Um, ready to pack it off the mountain. <laughs>